Lovely, wonderful people, you won't believe it. The former governor of Ekiti State, Blast Tinubu, and the APC chairman, Ganduji. He said, fire me to, fire me to APC. Tell Tinubu how Nigerians are faring. They should come out and, and see what they are doing to Nigerians. By the way, they were once uh, jolly good fellows, but now it seems like uh, things are falling apart. They are not as, uh, the fellowship is not as it used to be. And then um, he's saying to Tinubu, have you really thought about how Nigerians are faring? Have you really thought about what is going on right now? Or you are just, you're just um, enjoying the moment and forgetting the fact that, you know, Nigerians are going through a lot. He said you need to know how Nigerians are faring. Don't just sit back there and think that, you know, things will just fall in place. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Fire me to APC. Tell Tinubu how Nigerians are faring. Okay? Tell Tinubu. So this is exactly what is going on now. The former governor of Ekiti State, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, has challenged the ruling of Progressive Congress APC not to be a spectator or policymaker, but project its manifesto for effective and efficient implementation by government produced by the party. Fayemi insists that the leader, the leadership with Ganduji should be the one telling President Tinubu the feedback, honest feedback from Nigerians and not what he hears in the villa where he is locked up. The president has no clue what is really going on in the villa. Tell him the true situation of things. The former chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum stated this in his remark at a public presentation of the book APC Transition Politics, written by former National Vice Chairman Southwest of the Party, Lukman, in Abuja on Tuesday. He described the author as a, a man of conscience, a man of APC and a progressive politician in Nigeria committed to bringing the voice in the wilderness through the party, bringing the party through situations, making progressive and urging leaders at all level to get the message and do right by the people. He said the author is one person who cannot just be pushed around. One person who truly wants to see Nigeria move forward and APC do right by the people. If there is anyone who can be described as a conscience of all progressive Congress politics in Nigeria today, more than any of us, Lukman is one of them. So our being present here is a token of paying homage to the voice of the voiceless that individual committed and insist on the voice of the voiceless in the wilderness. That is this man, progressive in nature. He wants to see the party do right by the people. I urge the present APC chairman to do right. Tell Tinubu the true situation of things. They all he hears in the villa is not all as it seems. If the president is going to do right by the people, he needs to be told the truth. Fayemi has, you know, has said. So you may be wondering what is going on. He came for a book launch, but he's speaking on Ganduji, he's speaking on Tinubu, that they should do right by the people, you know, that they should, you know, uh, that they should do right by the people, they should uh, stand for what is right, what is true, you know, they should not just uh, throw things down, they should rather really stand for what is right, you know, so these are some of the things that are sincerely, truly on ground, and every single individual is watching to see what the next line of action will be. Nigerians, today as it stands, we all need to, you know, take take a step back and reanalyze things, you know, and ensure that we do what is right by us. There are people whose mission statement, I can tell you for free, is about themselves. And if he's saying, you know, Tinubu needs to hear the truth, I believe Fayomi is speaking from experience. Tinubu needs to hear the truth. But how many of them really, you know, are ready to do right by the people? If Fayemi was governor of Ikiti State for how many years, eight years, what did he do in Ikiti State? Do you know that there is no road why he was there 
between Ikiti and Ondo State, and they and they used to be one state before you know they split the state. So that is to tell you that between within the state there is no no trans no uh, clear court road. So much so that when the vice president was to come visit Ikiti State the other time, he had to come by chopper from Ikiti from Ondo to Ikiti. No road, and it's not far. No, it's not far. If you've been around that as this is not far at all. But these are things that happen and every one of us just watch and we are wondering, you know, where all this is coming from. If there's any time in our history where every single person needs to take things, you know, rather very seriously that ensure that we do right by us, it is now more than ever before. So nobody should sit back there and think that all is well. You know, all is done and settled, and that is it. And just move on. If this nation, if things become better and we move forward, everybody will enjoy it. So why are we allowing the same people over and over again to keep us down? Nigeria needs honest, sincere people who will help us move forward. The country is going through a lot at the moment. It is going through a lot. And every single one of us must bring, you know, something fresh to the table and help this nation to become better. What is APC doing for the nation? How is APC's, you know, uh, leadership impacting the people? These are things we should be talking about. These are things we should be honestly talking about and not just, you know, uh, just sitting there and thinking, you know, that's it. We must be honest and sincere and look at things more critically, you know. APC as a, as a government, since they came in, it's been, it's been from bad to worse. Buhari came in and from Buhari, here we have Tinubu, it's like from bad to worse. I can assure you for free, time is coming. Nigerians will say Buhari time was even better. I can assure you for free. Watch out very soon in no distance time. Nigerians will be saying Buhari's time was better because this government have no people, are not people-centered at all they are not people centered at all all the envisage and all they try to do you know it's 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 just about themselves and that is not right at all you see that's not right at all anyway my lovely people it is what it is don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe god bless have a fantastic and lovely day bye for now bye bye